Allen BP, along with its third quarter results this morning, said that if oil goes to $60 a barrel sustainably, its model will be in balance. What does that mean? What they mean is that they can cover with their cash flows, mm. their capital spending program, and their dividends. And this is before any sales of assets that they have been doing regularly for some time. So now. organically, Organic their spending, the including the payout to the, the shareholders, is covered by cash flow On for the, the current business. plan that they've laid out, correct. Uh, yeah. Do you buy it? Um, I think there's one or two things you know, strikes you when you look at it. One, $60 oil may not seem so far away, but it is you know, a healthy 20, 25% mm. above where we are. Yes, that's 2017. Yes, the and future the, strip is saying of, that. But. And of course, Lex's view is that nobody knows what the oil market's going to do. Yeah, I we don't. We don't. don't. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> and there's no reason to think BP has special, even though they're an oil company, why they would have special insight into the future price. Yes. But uh, to be fair to them, they picked the futures strip, the average of futures prices yes. going out. So I can see kind of where the number came from. Mm. But at the same time, it's also ask, begs the question as to whether what happens if it doesn't go up there. Okay. So does BP's sort of operational performance in the last five or t 10 years suggest that at that price, they will not be spending more than they're taking in? Okay. First of all, no, because they have not covered their uh, dividend with free cash flow uh, after CapEx. Um, so there is stress in mm. the system, and so as a result, they've had to sell assets. How, how much do. of that stress comes from the Gulf of Mexico? In other words, if it wasn't for the big accident, would they have been covering the dividend and the CapEx from... I, I would guess flow. it's certainly some of the cause, right? They mm. will have had to have to shut down production in certain parts of the Gulf of Mexico. At one point, Gulf of Mexico wells were all being yeah. uh, shut, shut in. So yes, there's definitely that. They've had to uh, sell projects they may not have wanted to sell, but nevertheless, they have yet to show that, that, that they could do this uh, in recent years. Yeah, so and the market, be a challenge. The market right? seems to agree with you, right? Despite a very strong set of results, the stock is not really moving today. Yes, so that, we that's seem, right. seem to be getting a message from the market. Let's uh, close on this, Alan. Is the amount of capital expenditure they're talking about under the $60 plan, is that enough to keep reserves and production growing? It'll be enough, um, I think, to more than uh, tick over. They don't like to give production, co they don't like to talk about volume. They like to talk right. about value these days. Yes. <laughs> uh, fair enough. So um, they have some new projects coming on. They are willing to invest. You can see that they are trying. But again, if the target is neutral cash flow, they do not have that wiggle room, that sort of maneuverability to uh, just in case. And they want to get leverage up a little bit or are willing to, right? All right. So. When, when oil goes to 25, we'll talk again, Alan. <laughs> Thanks very much.